Boratirta Impul is one of the most popular temples to visit in Bali. It is dedicated to Vishnu and the temple was founded in 926 AD. Many visitors come to purify themselves of bad karma and to pray for protection. In this video, I'll be sharing my experience of doing the purification ceremony with a Balinese family. I'll also share some things you should know to help you prepare for your visit to the Holy Water Temple. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button and share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in solo traveling or if you would like to follow my solo traveling journey here on the Sweet Chariot channel. It's raining out here at the temple. But there's nobody out here. It's perfect. Oh, look at the dog. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, cutie pie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> The Holy Water Temple is located in the village of Manukia, which is 30 minutes away from Ubud. We arrived as soon as the temple opened at 7 a.m. Most visitors arrive around 9 a.m. and the temple closes at 6 p.m. It is 50,000 rupiah for entry, which includes a sarong. How do you pronounce it? Sagarn? Sagarn? So, uh, skirt? Sarong. 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 I have my sarong. We're headed to the temple. Also for women, you are not allowed to participate in the purification ceremony during your menstrual cycle. After we sort our items in the locker, we begin the ceremony with our first offering. Money, candies, cookies, crackers, or tobacco is often included in this first offering. This offering is to give to lower deities for protection from negative energy. I would use this time to meditate on the things that you want to purify your mind of. I was trying to follow Desi's prayer movements like when she would breathe in the incense smoke with her hands but if it's your first time like me then just take this time to meditate on what you want to purify yourself of before you get into the water. I love dogs. I had a dog for 16 years and I got him when I was nine years old. He was my baby. So I have a soft spot for dogs. And this dog was like following me around. He was licking my feet. There are a lot of dogs at this temple, but they're, I would say they're very friendly, but still be cautious because they are uh, stray dogs. After the offering, we then move to the center of the temple where the two large pools are. You have to be very careful when entering the pools. The stairs are covered with algae, so it's very slippery. And there's also fishes in both of the pools. So try not to step on the fishes during your ceremony. The proper way to do the cleansing under the spout is to bow to the spout first, then rinse your head three times. Then take three sips of water, rinse your body, and then bow again. Only drink the water that comes out of the spout. During the ceremony, I focused on three affirmations for every time I rinsed my head, every time I took a sip, and rinsed my body. I just kept those three affirmations in rotation during the whole ceremony, and I'm so happy that I did that because it allowed me to stay present and focus. The water coming from the spout is very powerful, and I don't know, it's like it's easy for me a little bit to lose focus, so it allowed me to really take in that moment and focus on what it is that I wanted to cleanse myself of. If you have kinky natural hair, I highly recommend putting your hair in some form of braids. The water from the spout can hit your scalp directly and it'll keep your hair from getting tangled. Regardless of what you decide to do with your hair, you will have to put it up during the ceremony. much needed and I'm so happy I came with my Balinese family because this is more this is a more intimate experience I would say and it's not that it's 
nobody's here. So it's a couple of people here, like two people here. And being here in Bali, my skin has just put up so much. It has a lot to do with what I've been eating. But um, yeah, I'm just, I feel, I feel really good. After the cleansing, we changed out of our wet clothes in the locker room. To enter into the inner temple, you must wear a shirt that covers your shoulders. I wanted to wear one of Desi's blouses like her. It's like a sheer blouse that has a lace to it, but I couldn't fit it. It was too small. We tried to make it work, but it just, mm -mm. so I ended up wearing a regular t-shirt. For the second offering, you'll see more flowers and fruit arrangements for these offerings and therefore higher deities. After praying, the priest came to sprinkle holy water over us and I was given rice grains to eat. Then I placed the rice on my forehead, on my chest, and I think I had it behind my ear as well. Rice is a staple in Bali, it is viewed as a gift from God and a symbol of life. So rice marks the completion of the purification ceremony. Near the inner temple, you can also check out where the water from the spouts come from this is spring water is full of algae as you can see and you can also see small fishes in the water as well now oh, look at those little fishes It's starting to get busy. We're about to head back and I may go get some soup or I may eat with them and see what they're eating. I know, we'll see. But yeah. In the description, I'll leave a list of things to take with you if you're planning to do the water purification ceremony at this temple. After we left the temple, we stopped by a local restaurant for Bobby Gulin. Bobby Gulin is a pork Balinese dish that is a local favorite. The pig is roasted over an open fire and hand turned to be cooked to perfection. So the restaurant is over here. It was really good. I still have these, the rice in my hand. It was a pork and lemongrass sauce. And then it had vegetables and rice. That was really good. I'm looking at these cars go by. Cause I'm waiting for them. They're ordering some more food to go for their kids. I was gonna go back to the villa and go to sleep, but I don't think I'm going to sleep. I think I'm gonna go get my lashes done. I'm gonna go get my nails done. Yeah, I feel good. Oh, the baby. Yeah, everything worked out great. It was raining this morning. And then once we started doing the cleansing with the water, it cleared up. And then once we were done, that's when the sun came out. 
So it was perfect timing. The food at the restaurant was really good. Um, it was like chopped up pork and then it was in some kind of sauce. I did taste like the lemongrass in the sauce that was on the pork. And then the vegetables, that was good. Desi was like, Sanar's wife, she was like, well, I'm gonna eat with my hands, you don't have to. I was like, I'll eat with my hands, no problem. I'm not used to eating like that. Like normally I eat with a fork because that's what I, you know, that's how I ate growing up. But I know like people who, I know it's very common for people to eat with their hands. Um, it doesn't bother me though. Yeah, I had to come inside because somebody was playing the guitar and then someone else started up their motorcycle. So I just came inside. And when I was doing the cleansing, like you have to, take in the water three times. The first time I did it, I ain't gonna lie, I spit it back out because I was a little nervous drinking that water. But um, Desi was like, no, you, you can drink the water, it's okay. And I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna listen to you. <laughs> also, by the way, my bracelet is, is coming off. <laughs> it's slowly coming off. I'm gonna just wait for it to fall. It was up here with the, um, the one that represents blessings from the three gods. And this one's supposed to represent the mother temple, the mother temple ceremony. But yeah, it's coming off. I'ma just let it come off. I was, I kept trying to tighten it. It wouldn't stay. So it's about to come off. I just thought, you know. So anyway, I'm about to go. Bye. <laughs>